your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Good evening, everybody. A quiet night out there. The winds, they're okay right now, but tomorrow they're going to be picking up rapidly across the region. Those are the same winds that brought us the warmer temperatures today. Currently, we have dry weather across the region. The sleep tight weather cam not showing much going on out there across the region. Now, as we head on into tonight, we're going to see temperatures fall back into the 20s. We're at 30 degrees right now here in Quincy. It was a nice day out there, sort of refreshing. Temperatures warming into the 30s across the entire region. Right now, everyone generally right around the freezing point of 32 degrees. The winds, they've died down a bit out of the southwest, generally about 10 to 15 miles an hour across the region. However, as we go through tonight into tomorrow morning, they are going to start to increase once again across the region as we head towards the 6 o'clock hour. In tomorrow morning's forecast, check this out. Yellows and reds return to the region, and that's an indication of increasing winds across the region. Those wind gusts up around 35 miles an hour tomorrow, especially. Once again, you see the reds here indicating we're more towards the strong end of the continuum here, indicating some windy times for us tomorrow. Wind gusts up around 35 miles an hour will be quite likely with those southwest winds dragging in warmer temperatures into the 40s. So the winds will be increasing tomorrow. The temperatures will be increasing tomorrow, and we'll also see some increasing chances of some light rain and snow showers tomorrow. Not a big deal here, everybody, but don't be surprised if you see a little bit of a mix of some light rain and snow as we head through, especially tomorrow afternoon. 30 degrees right now at the airport. Clear skies. Winds gusting at 21 miles an hour there. Generally out of the south, southwest across the region today. Temperatures in the 30s across the tri-states. 27 in Cape Girardeau. 20 up in Chicago. 41, though, off to the northwest in Omaha, Nebraska. Now across the region, the temperatures, they aren't going to do too much tonight. They're going to fall back into the middle 20s. Not bad for the late part of January. But as we go through the day tomorrow, you'll watch the blues give way to greens and even some yellows working their way in, showing that warmer air pushing northeastward across the tri-states. And we are expecting also that chance of precipitation to increase as a front dives down from the north. We'll watch for the chance of a little bit of light rain and light snow push in late tomorrow morning into the afternoon. Once again, right around, say, mid-afternoon, could see a little light wintry mix and then some snow showers around as we head through tomorrow evening as well. 22 degrees for a low tonight. Those winds up there around 25 miles an hour. As we head through the day tomorrow, some rain and snow showers around. Not expecting any accumulation. 42 degrees for a daytime high. The long-term forecast sponsored by Illinois Signal. Well, here you go. Got that chance of some showers tomorrow with some uh, snowflakes mixing in. 40 degrees, or I should say, right around a 40% coverage of some showers of snow on Friday with temperatures in the 20s, then a 30% coverage of some snow winding down on Saturday. Friday night, though, accumulating snow is likely 2 to 3 inches across the region. Temperatures in the 20s Saturday and Sunday, and no chance of snow in here next week. So the big news, the winds tomorrow, the warmer temperatures tomorrow, and the snow chances, especially for Friday night into Saturday morning. Okay, hopefully when people are all being smart and staying at home out of the cold and the snow, right? Off the roads, that's okay. right. Okay, thanks, Mike. Hello, Chris Dewar. What Hi do there. we have in the world of sports this evening? It is Wednesday night, Student Athlete of the Week night tonight. We're going to celebrate one of the